What we're going to do in this problem is that we're going to arrange the compounds in order of decreasing rate of brumination from the one that reacts the fastest to the one that reacts at the slowest rate. And we're going to look at the groups that are attached to all the rings. This one doesn't have anything, so it's neither activated or deactivated. The other ones have methyls, and the methyls are activators and all activators are ortho para directors. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go through the compounds left and we're going to see which positions are activated. This methyl right here is an ortho para activator. So it's activating the ortho and the para positions. I'm going to do that in the methyl at the top of this one too. The para position is already taken, and this is toluene, and toluene is as well ortho para activated. For the second methyl, this one doesn't have any second methyl. This one at the bottom is activating the ortho positions, ortho to it, and in this one right here, that one is activating this one, and this one, and this one. Alright, so let's put them in order. These two, because they have two methyls, will automatically be more active than the toluene. And the toluene has one activating group, so it's more active than the benzene. And if you notice, this silene, the metasilene, they're a green on the positions that are activated. Now this position, remember, it's too sterically hindered, so we're not going to get anything there. Not that it matters for this problem, but we need to remember that for the exam. So the met metasilene is going to be more active than the parasilene. The parasilene is going to be more active than the toluene. And of course, we're going to have benzene at the very end as the least reactive because it doesn't have any activating groups on.